death, the ultimate unknown, a concept that has captivated humankind since the dawn of consciousness. We are born, we live, and we die. Or do we? This fundamental question has fueled countless myths, religions, and philosophical debates throughout history. What lies beyond the veil of death? Is it a void of nothingness or a gateway to a realm beyond our comprehension? The human mind, wired for pattern recognition and meaning-making, instinctively seeks answers to these profound questions. Science, in its relentless pursuit of understanding the universe, offers tantalizing glimpses into the nature of reality that challenge our conventional notions of life and death. In the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the subatomic world defy our everyday intuition, the possibility of parallel universes emerges as a particularly captivating concept. Could these parallel universes existing alongside our own hold the key to understanding what happens after we die? Let us embark on a thrilling journey through the frontiers of science, exploring the mind-boggling theories that suggest death might not be the end, but rather a transition to another dimension, another reality, another life. The concept of parallel universes once relegated to the realm of science fiction has gained significant traction in recent years as a legitimate scientific theory. This idea, which once seemed like a far-fetched fantasy, is now being seriously explored by some of the brightest minds in science. It is no longer a mere plot device for fantastical stories. It's a topic that is being seriously considered by physicists and cosmologists as a plausible explanation for some of the most perplexing mysteries of the universe. These experts are delving into the intricacies of the cosmos, seeking answers to questions that have puzzled humanity for centuries. Imagine a reality where every possible outcome of every event that has ever occurred exists in its own separate universe. This means that every decision you make, every path you take, spawns a new universe where an alternate version of you experiences a different outcome. A reality where you made that other choice, where history unfolded differently, where the impossible becomes possible. In one universe, you might be a renowned artist, while in another you could be a scientist who made groundbreaking discoveries. This is the essence of the multiverse theory, a mind-bending concept that challenges our very understanding of reality. It forces us to reconsider the nature of existence and the limits of our knowledge. The multiverse theory is not a single unified theory, but rather an umbrella term encompassing a range of theoretical frameworks, each with its own unique interpretation of how these parallel universes might exist and interact with our own. Some theories suggest that these universes are completely separate and inaccessible, while others propose that they might occasionally intersect or influence each other. Among the most compelling of these theories are the many worlds interpretation, which posits that every quantum event spawns a new universe, the orchestrated objective reduction or OR, theory, which suggests that consciousness plays a role in the formation of reality and the simulation hypothesis, which proposes that our universe might be a sophisticated simulation created by an advanced civilization. These theories, while rooted in complex mathematical equations and abstract concepts, offer a captivating glimpse into the possibility of a reality far grander and more mysterious than we ever imagined. They invite us to ponder the nature of existence and the potential for infinite possibilities. They challenge us to expand our perception of what is real and to consider the possibility that our universe, vast as it may seem, is but one of an infinite number of universes, each with its own unique set of physical laws and possibilities. This notion opens up a realm of endless exploration and wonder, urging us to keep pushing the boundaries of our understanding. The Many Worlds Interpretation, MWI, born from the mind of physicist Hugh Everett III, offers perhaps the most radical and awe-inspiring vision of the multiverse. The theory suggests that every quantum measurement, every interaction at the subatomic level, causes the universe to split into multiple parallel universes, each representing a different possible outcome of that interaction. Imagine a single electron, its behavior governed by the strange laws of quantum mechanics. Instead of existing in a single definite state, the electron exists in a superposition of states, simultaneously occupying all possible positions and momenta until a measurement is made. According to the MWI, the act of measuring the electron's state does not collapse this superposition into a single reality. Instead, the universe splits, creating a separate branch of reality for each possible outcome of the measurement. In one universe, the electron is measured to be spinning up. In another, it is spinning down. Each universe continues to evolve independently, 
unaware of the existence of its counterparts. This constant branching of reality creates a vast and ever-expanding tapestry of infinite parallel universes, each representing a different path through the quantum multiverse. It is a mind-boggling concept, one that challenges our very notion of individuality and free will. If every possible outcome of every event exists in its own separate universe, then what does it mean to make a choice? What becomes of our sense of self in a reality of infinite possibilities? While the many worlds interpretation paints a picture of a multiverse constantly branching into an infinity of possibilities, each decision and event creating a new universe, the orchestrated objective reduction, or orch or theory, championed by physicist Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff, offers a different perspective. This theory provides a more nuanced and perhaps even more startling perspective on the nature of reality and consciousness, suggesting that our understanding of the universe is deeply intertwined with the mysteries of the mind. Ort O.R. posits that consciousness is not simply a byproduct of brain activity but rather a fundamental aspect of the universe, woven into the very fabric of reality. This implies that consciousness is as integral to the universe as space, time, and matter. They suggest that consciousness arises from quantum computations occurring within microtubules, tiny structures found within neurons in the brain. These microtubules are thought to be the sites where quantum processes give rise to conscious experience. These quantum computations, according to Ork O.R., are not merely responsible for our subjective experience of consciousness, but also play a crucial role in the objective reduction of the quantum wave function, the process by which the universe chooses a single outcome from a multitude of possibilities. This means that our conscious choices could influence the very fabric of reality. In this view, consciousness is not just a passive observer of reality, but an active participant, shaping the very fabric of the universe through its interaction with quantum processes. This suggests that our thoughts and intentions might have a tangible impact on the world around us. But what happens to consciousness when we die? This question has intrigued humanity for millennia, and Orch Or offers a fascinating perspective. Could it be that our individual consciousness upon the death of our physical body merges with a universal consciousness, a cosmic ocean of awareness that permeates the multiverse? This idea suggests that death might not be an end but a transformation, a return to a greater whole. Ork O.R. suggests a profound and intimate connection between consciousness, quantum physics, and the nature of reality itself, raising profound questions about the relationship between mind and matter, the nature of self, and the possibility of life after death. It challenges us to rethink our understanding of existence and our place in the cosmos, opening up new avenues of exploration and wonder. The simulation hypothesis, while often associated with science fiction, has gained traction in recent years as a serious topic of discussion among philosophers, physicists, and technologists. This intriguing idea has sparked debates and inspired countless theories, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of reality. The hypothesis, in its essence, proposes that our reality is not what it seems, that we are not living in a real universe but rather existing within a sophisticated computer simulation created by a more advanced civilization. Imagine a world where every experience, every sensation, and every moment is meticulously programmed by entities far beyond our comprehension. This idea, while seemingly outlandish, is not entirely implausible when one considers the exponential rate of technological advancement, particularly in the fields of computing, artificial intelligence, and virtual reality. Our progress in these areas has been nothing short of astonishing, with each breakthrough bringing us closer to the possibility of creating our own simulated realities. If our technology continues to advance at its current pace, it is not inconceivable that we will one day possess the ability to create simulations that are indistinguishable from reality. Already we see virtual environments that are incredibly lifelike, and the line between the digital and the real is becoming increasingly blurred. But what if we are already living in such a simulation? What if those inexplicable moments, those strange coincidences, and those mysterious glitches in our reality are hints of the underlying code that governs our existence? What if the reality we perceive as so real is nothing more than lines of code running on a supercomputer in some higher dimension? This perspective forces us to rethink everything we know about the universe and our place within it. If this is the case, then what does it mean for our understanding of life, death, and the nature of reality itself? Could our consciousness be merely a series of algorithms and our experiences predetermined by a complex set of instructions? 
The simulation hypothesis raises profound questions about the nature of existence, the limits of knowledge, and the possibility that our universe is far stranger and more wondrous than we ever imagined. It invites us to explore the depths of our curiosity and to challenge the very foundations of our beliefs. It challenges us to question our assumptions about reality and to consider the possibility that we are living in a digital realm, a simulated world crafted by beings whose intelligence and technology far surpass our own. As we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, we may one day uncover the truth about our existence and the nature of the universe itself. In the realm of quantum mechanics, another layer of mystery unfolds, challenging our very understanding of reality. At the smallest scales, the universe behaves in ways that defy classical logic. Particles exist in multiple states at once, only settling into a definite state when observed. This phenomenon, known as superposition, suggests that the act of observation itself plays a crucial role in shaping reality. But what does this mean for our understanding of consciousness and the universe? Could it be that our minds are intrinsically linked to the fabric of reality, influencing the very nature of existence through our perceptions and thoughts? Quantum entanglement, where particles become interconnected regardless of distance, hints at a deeper underlying connection that binds the universe together. Some theorists propose that consciousness may be a fundamental aspect of the universe, woven into the very fabric of space-time. This perspective suggests that our awareness and the quantum world are not separate entities but rather two sides of the same coin. If this is true, then the implications are profound, offering a glimpse into a reality where mind and matter are intertwined in ways we are only beginning to understand. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of quantum mechanics, we may discover that our consciousness is not merely a byproduct of the brain, but a fundamental component of the universe itself. This idea challenges us to rethink our place in the cosmos and to explore the possibility that our thoughts and perceptions contribute to the creation of reality. Until next time, keep questioning, keep dreaming, and keep exploring the boundless possibilities of the mind. Thank you for watching Philopop51. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more journeys into the mystical and philosophical realms. See you in our next adventure!